Hey there guys, just wanted to show you this little toy that we made here in Minecraft on our way to uh, get something else done. So we have this normal Minecraft world here, but if we come out here there's obviously something awry. We've got this huge open area filled with water and then a giant glass dome in the middle. So let's go check it out. <coughs> As, uh, as we're swimming out to our glass dome, I just wanted to point out here that the surface of the water is not flat, because I think that flat water is pretty silly since that's not what oceans or lakes are actually like, so I just did a real simple noise algorithm here to uh, give the water a little personality, make it a little bit cooler. So what the hell are we looking at here? We are swimming out to a gigantic glass dome that protrudes from the water. The way this is calculated is that we have a program which creates this giant open space that we're swimming around in the middle of here. And at the very center of that open space, it calculates the distance. And anywhere that that distance comes out to be between 100 or to 105 squares, we lay down a glass block and uh, so what this does is it creates a perfectly round shape that we can play around with. Now this one obviously sticks out of the water. Um, it would be very easy to make one that is completely submerged within the water and uh, create some kind of underwater uh, Atlantis or something. So I poked a couple holes holes in this thing trying to uh, get in here without killing myself and so that's the uh, the first successful attempt at me getting in here without dying. Um, but anyway, so now we're inside of this glass dome so we can obviously see all the water being held back and the few places it's been busted where it isn't being held back. And this enormous glass area which if I really wanted to you could start building stuff inside of this or whatever you wanted to do. Um, so again this is pretty simple um, I have another video of uh, rendering a s uh, one to one scale of the Battlestar Galactica and uh, you can check out that video for more information I'm not going to repeat myself as to how this stuff works um, the one thing I will show you guys though and this is the real inspiration of why any of this mess is going on is these few blocks here so with this uh, with this algorithm you can uh, create a two-dimensional image and then based on the pixels of that image it will render blocks on this surface and so the idea was that it gives you a real a much better way to do redstone circuits and so this redstone circuit was actually drawn obviously it's about the most boring redstone circuit ever but excuse me it was drawn uh, inside of an image and then rendered directly into the game so doing it that way makes it so you can uh, lay down circuits a lot easier if you're using Photoshop or GIMP or something like that you can make your AND and OR gates and all that kind of stuff and then just copy and paste those down and then when you run the program it just outputs those much much simpler format so um, that's the real reason why all this is here and then I, uh, I realized it'd be kinda cool to build a giant class dome so we did um, and for some reason the game doesn't want to load in that part but frankly I don't blame it anyways so there you go gigantic underwater glass dome in Minecraft uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video